Can I get you another prune danish? With butter. Oh, it's such a relief not to have to eat oat bran anymore. <laughs> no, I actually feel better since I stopped eating it. You don't notice going to that shrink seems to have had a positive effect on you, too. I like you in suspenders. Oh, and you, too. <laughs> so, what's on your agenda for today? I'm going to continue working really hard at thinking of what I should be. <laughs> I've got to narrow down it down. Something involving the ocean. Or the air. Or politics. <laughs> you don't know, notice. Know your problem? You lack focus. Do I? I wonder. <laughs> you need to find something concrete. You know an area you never tried that I think you might find exciting? Business. Business? Businessman. <laughs> I'm in business, man. Big business. It's my business and none of your business. <laughs> okay, I like the sound of it. <laughs> well, where have you been? We've had to heat up our own danishes. It's a hard knock life. <laughs> I've been out buying a little something to cheer Norris up. Pineapples? Aww. Got me a dog? Yes. What better gift is there than something that gives you unconditional love? On well, airplane. But I like the dog. <laughs> yeah. Hi there, boy. Perhaps you need to get to know each other. Her name is Fallon. Why don't you take her for a walk? Oh, come on, Fallon. It, it seems to heal pretty well. <laughs> Carol Ann? Carol Ann? Oh. <laughs> Looking for me, Tom? Oh, no, you no, hurt I, yourself, no, didn't you? no, I didn't, honey. Oh, too bad. Oh, look, Caroline, I know you're angry, and I know why you're angry, but I, I brought you something that might change the way you feel about me. Another card with a quote from L. Ron Hubbard and a picture of two people holding hands on a beach? Open it. <laughs> what is this? It's my agreement with Tacky to divorce you. I tore it up. Our marriage is worth a lot more than five million dollars, Carol Ann. It's priceless. And it's not a Xerox copy? <laughs> I tore those up, too. I want our marriage to be based on, on love and trust. So do I. Well, then come here, you. Oh, Carol Ann. This is going to be just the beginning, honey. We're going, to, we're going to have everything we've ever dreamed of. Oh, can we have children, Tom? We can have them. We can rent them. We can buy them. We'll have the money to do whatever you want to do. Tacky is giving me the $11 million for my mall condo development. <laughs> Tom? Did you know about the $11 million before or after you tore up the $5 million? Well, what does that matter? Because if you tore up the five million before you knew you had the 11 million, then you really want me back. But if you tore up the five million after the 11 million, it's because you knew you had the 11 million and the five million didn't matter so much anymore. I tore it up before. I don't believe you. Well, if I'm lying, honey, I'm lying to get you back. Doesn't that count? Oh, I have to get dressed for work. Carol Ann, to err is human, to forgive, to bind. You were going to sell me to a Japanese businessman for five million dollars, Tom. That was the human part. Oh. <laughs> Please, I have enough to pick up. <laughs> Too late now, you little bitch. <laughs> the rash has jumped to my forehead. Janice, look at these two women. What do you think their names are? I don't know. Carl Malone and Jimmy Katzenzakis. Uh-huh. They're the best two undercover cops in West Virginia. They're the ones I interviewed with. They offered me a job, paying twice what I'm making here. What do you think? I think Jimmy should shave his thighs if he's got to wear a miniskirt. <laughs> Janice, I want you to come with me to Wheeling. You and Ed and me living together in Appalachia, making 30 grand a year. 
Paints a pretty picture, doesn't he? <laughs> Wayne, we've been through this. <laughs> Not this, Janice. I want to be your husband. I want you to be my wife. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wayne, I'm really flattered that you would ask me. I'm honored even, but you know, just think about it. I'm not really right for you. Sure you are. I'm a lot older than you are. You have more experience. You can teach me some great stuff. <laughs> I have a kid. I love Etta. I'm moody. Well, who wants predictable? I, I've got this rash. They don't know what it is or if it's ever going to go away. Janice, you'll always be beautiful to me. Even if that rash turned into a big open sore and started oozing pus. Wait, all wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now, listen. I really do love you in a way. You know, no, 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 no. <laughs> But that's not enough. When two people get married, they should be in love with each other. And I'm, I'm not in love with you. Well, that's fine. One person always loves the other person more. And in our marriage, that'd be me. <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> Wayne, I can't. Look, it's a big decision. You should think it over. Yeah. Oh, hi, Dustin. Hi, Mrs. Pacetti. Is that around? Anna, Dustin's here. What are you doing here? I told you yesterday my mom would drive us to school. Oh, thanks. You're going to have without me. I have to do a book report. Oh, wait. I have to read the book. <laughs> Etta, I'll get right to the point. Will you accompany me to the school carnival as my lady? I'm not going, but thanks for asking anyway. Oh, maybe you'll change your mind. You never know. I know. Boy, some guys you just gotta hit over the head with a sledgehammer. <laughs> I'm home for lunch. Did Tom call? Uh, no. Good. My God, what happened to your face? I have an undiagnosed rash, okay? Oh. I'm sorry. It's hardly noticeable. <laughs> so nobody called? Oh, Carol Ann, why don't you just go back to Tom? Because Tom did something. It might take me a while to forget it. It's private. Well, you mean something besides offering to divorce you for 500 bucks? It was 5 million. And Tom didn't offer someone asked him. 5 million? Someone offered me five million to divorce Eddie. I'd have jumped on it. Oh, you're just saying that because your marriage went bad. No, I would have done it on my wedding night. Yeah, but I'm in love with Tom. I was in love with Eddie. And then he walked out on me. Oh, if Tom would just make some gesture, you know, so I could go back to him without feeling totally humiliated. Maybe being in love shouldn't be such a big thing in marriage, you know? Maybe it's smarter to just end up with a decent human being. Who are you thinking of settling for? <laughs> I'm not settling for anybody. Wayne? You're thinking of marrying Wayne? No, 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 no. no I, I don't want to talk about this. It's aggravating my rash. <laughs> Hmm. Give it. Thanks, Fallon. Next time, wipe your feet. For you. Carol Ann, you are everywhere and everything. You are the warmth of the sun, the air I breathe. Huh. Monday night football must be over. Uh, there I breathe, yet I cannot possess you. I ask you to be mine, but hear only the echo of my desire. Meet me at the Grand Hotel Bar for happy hour. <laughs> well, that's just your enough for me. <laughs> How 
is that? Lower, Colleen. Lower. Ah, a PowerPoint right there, right there. <laughs> Happy now. You have great legs, Colleen. A jazzercise. <laughs> And just because you're the boss's son, don't think you're entitled to any favors. So don't ask. You're just observing. Well, if things work out, that sign out there might read, Weldon Piano Works and Son. <laughs> I might move you up from my father's secretary to my personal assistant. I am completely loyal to your father. He hired me right out of high school. These have been the most fulfilling seven years of my life. <laughs> so that would mean what? Uh, you graduated from high school when you were 36, 37? There was a fight down at quality control over a woman. Those quality control guys, they buy you lunch, they think they own you. Every afternoon, it seems like all hell breaks loose. Fights, accidents, people falling asleep on a job. I don't know what it is. Well, your employees go out to lunch. They eat a bunch of junk food and get liquored up to counteract the boredom of their jobs. Uh, boredom is part of any job. It's setting in just standing here talking to you. <laughs> Why don't you hire a cook and give your employees a free lunch? And we'll pay for it out of your allowance. Well, whatever it costs, you'd make it up and increase productivity. Yeah. You could serve a nutritious, high-energy lunch, keep them away from the alcohol, shorten the lunch hour by five minutes, netting us 25 extra hours per worker per year. Plus, they'd think you're a great guy and probably make up songs about you. <laughs> That's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Well, thanks. I guess I'll go out to lunch. <laughs> hey, Colleen, you want to go out to lunch? Son, to the end of your first successful day, seeing you there at your little desk functioning, <laughs> uh, I'm proud of you. Well, it felt good, and I'm glad I did it. But I quit. <laughs> what? Who'd want to give up their freedom to sit behind a desk all day? To be an adult, to earn a living. I don't know, it doesn't strike a chord with me. <laughs> no, I don't want to put any pressure on you. But you quit. You're out in the street without a dime. That's something I haven't experienced yet. Poverty, huh? Well, I have, and you won't like it. Nobody in his right mind would. Go ahead. Be a hobo. Think of where your next meal is coming from. Think! Janice, Caroline. Hey, Janice, uh, if you could be rich or poor, you'd still choose to be poor, right? Norris, what have you been drinking? <laughs> I think I've made a terrible mistake. Well, Tom's not here yet. Maybe he's writing you another poem. Oh, <laughs> well, let's get a table, all right? Caroline, I've been up since 5 o'clock. I've cleaned two offices, a house, and a beauty salon. Do you know how hard it is to get hair out of corners? No, I don't. Plus, I'm on antihistamines. Mm. I gotta go home and get some sleep. I no, please, don't leave me in the bar alone. God. <laughs> Besides, I need you around for this thing with Tom. I'm too romantic and naive, and you're bitter and cynical. <laughs> Together, we're a normal woman. <laughs> People are staring at my rash. No offense, but can we get off your rash and focus on me tonight? <laughs> yeah, I just gotta get some makeup on. Okay, don't be too long. No, order me a cup of coffee, three sugars. All right. One pink squirrel and a cup of coffee, please.
Nothing sets a mood like piano music. Don't you agree? Yes, I suppose. One uh, pink squirrel and a cup of coffee. Would you like to dance? Oh, there's uh, no dance floor here, so... No. If you want to dance, you can dance anywhere. You can't let society put restrictions on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm married. I'm not sorry I'm married. <laughs> I'm just married. I take three sugars in my coffee, too. Oh, <laughs> well, small world department, I guess. <laughs> and yet I cannot possess you. I ask you to be mine, but hear only the echo of my desire. My God, you're the one who sent me that poem? How do you know me? Well, we both work at Weldon Piano Works. Well, I've never seen you. Oh, I'm usually goggled and covered in sawdust. I operate a lathe, <laughs> but I'm clean now. And you smell like summer rain. Boy, you men, you know, you think just because you're great looking that I think, I know exactly what I think. And I don't have to tell you what I think, so don't even try to guess. Now, if you'll excuse me, whoever you are, I look better. I think I got it covered. Oh, if I could just have a cup of coffee. Listen, now everyone's staring at your rash. We better get out of here. got to get to the drugstore before it closes. My dad's trust broke. I'm, I'm right in the middle of my homework. Well, I just wanted to know whether or not you were going to the school carnival with me. I told you this morning, Dustin. Well, I just wanted to double check and to alert you that Jennifer Lipidescu has expressed interest in going with me. She's supposed to be my best friend. She's stealing my boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend? <laughs> you made me the happiest boy alive. Oh, don't have an attack over it. Women in my family don't stay in relationships long. Yeah, well, people in my family don't have relationships, so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Thanks for driving me home, Wayne. Oh, these antihistamines are making me so drowsy. You're lucky it was me who pulled you over. <laughs> you gave me a ticket. Yeah, but go to court. I won't show up. Guess what, Mrs. Pizzetti? Anna says I'm her boyfriend. Oh, that's nice, Dustin. I gotta lie down here. Hey, Mom! Anna says I'm her boyfriend! Keep it down, will you? Do you want me to take off your shoes or anything? No. <laughs> Have you thought about us? Mm-hmm. So... So, you want to be my wife, buy a nice house, have lots of kids? The Wheeling Police Department has a great medical plan, and it's in West Virginia. You can have up to 15 kids for free. Mm. <laughs> You're excited now. Wait till you see this. It's my grandmother's ring. I was at the cemetery all morning. No, I just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> it's brand new. It's a diamond. It's forever. Oh, it fits. We're engaged. Wow, you kiss great. <laughs> What's going on? We got engaged. It's a real searchlight, isn't it?
return after these messages. This isn't good. a professional sex surrogate to help raise his low self-esteem on an all-new L.A. law. And Saturday night, a family for Joe moves to its new time at 8, 7 Central and Mountain, followed by Amen and an all-new Golden Girls. Then don't miss the preview of a brand-new show, Carol and Company, starring Carol Burnett, Saturday night.